Hi everyone, today I'm doing a quick video about the new Japanese motif Eclipse. So these are a limited time design expanding the Eclipse lineup. I will link to the original Eclipse below for those of you who aren't familiar with that original lineup. But there are a lot of cute designs in that lineup. Animals, flowers, fruits, cute stuff like that. This lineup is all about like designs that are ubiquitous in Japanese culture. So we've got the Japanese animals here. We've got Japanese lucky charms here traditional Japanese people, and symbols of Japan. So I'll go through each symbol with you. So you'll probably recognize some of these. We've got Sakura, cherry blossom. Mount Fuji. So these are a very thin etched stainless steel. They look awesome in your notebooks and I'll show you in a moment examples of what they look like. This is a crane and this is a traditional Japanese castle. So each set comes with a total of 16 clips. There are four designs in each set and each design comes with four clips. So before I go into the next set of designs, I'm gonna show you what this looks like in a notebook here, or on paper, I should say. It's quite lovely. Now I use these both for paper clipping, especially when I want to give the recipient a little bit of a delight in what I'm submitting to them. But also I use them as page flags, like in my journals or my planners. I think they look quite pretty. So those are the four Japanese symbols designs. Now going on to the traditional Japanese people, <laughs> we've got ninja. No. We've got someone training sumo. Turns out pretty amazing. So if I remember my Japanese correctly, I believe the people who study sumo or like the, what do you call it, like sumo in training are called rikishi. I love how much detail they can get on this etching. And then we have a samurai. And geisha. Glad they gave us one female. There you go. And moving on to the Japanese animals. So a lot of you probably recognize Shiba Inu here. Monkeys. These monkeys look like they're soaking in the hot springs or something. <laughs> Pheasant. I think the 
pheasant is like the traditional bird of Japan. And then these deer. Now these remind me of the deer at Nada, which I believe are protected. But they're so used to people, they're very friendly, <laughs> will come up to you wanting treats. Very pretty. And then finally, I'll go through the four designs of the Japanese Lucky Charms. So let's see if I can remember all of these. So we've got the Daruma. So this is like a lucky doll. They're usually red when you see them. It says luck on it in kanji. And then I'm never quite sure exactly what these are supposed to be. I think they're called Shishimai. And I believe it's supposed to be like a lion. But I never have thought they look like lions. <laughs> supposed to scare away like evilness and bad luck basically and then we've got maneki neko I, I i guess i always call these lucky cats and you've probably seen these they always have their right paw raised. Sometimes they're bouncing up and down in restaurants or whatever. But the idea is it brings money, <laughs> luck and money. Finally, the Inu Hariko. And so this is like a dog, basically. That's where the Inu is coming from. They're usually made out of paper mache, I believe. Yeah, and I think it's a symbol of luck for children. If you know more detail about any of these traditional Japanese symbols, leave your expertise below. Yeah, so four really pretty sets. I like that they've done the gold trim on them and to make them, you know, more sort of like a Japanese inspired, they've obviously have like a brush style strokes on here, which I really like. I think I have one still in package I could show you here yeah so in package looks like this and I believe on the reverse side of this paper let me show you this kind of makes it fun for a gift because it's in English it actually goes through the symbols and what they mean in Japan so it kind of makes a cool gift for somebody interested in Japanese culture. And I think they turned out just beautiful. I hope you get your hands on some of these if you so desire. And as always, let me know if you have any questions below. Have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.